right. We didn't um, we didn't change the noise size relative to our sphere radius. So we have 95 to 200. What else have we got? Noise size. Right click, enable the change. 95 will change to 85. The 200 will make one. Uh, one. Oop. 180. So now we will render this again. Uh, it looks like we can make that a lot smaller, doesn't it? Let's go to 60. Render again. Smaller still, 40. Now it's looking like an explosion. Noise size of 30. So 30, we have it. I'm going to make this maybe even a little more. Now we're looking at an explosion. <laughs> I'll change that back to one on one. Back to the camera view, you just click in your perspective viewport and hit C. <laughs> Excuse me. Pow. And that will be our smoke. We could, um, again, we'll change the life. It's all about nitpicking and tweaking. Grow for blah, blah, blah. Life. 80, 40. Boom. Seems about right. So now uh, we'll add that same light that we added to the other thing. There it is. Just add it and bang. We'll make sure that, well, first let's get a good, uh, Again, perspective. Ah, we see the colors all change there. That's looking good. Let's see what we're looking at here. Starting to look like an explosion. Again, we'll change the density. I'm not going to see any change there, obviously. It just spawned the frame before that. We disable, and we move it to about 120. We should start to see a little bit of change now when we turn this back on. Remember, it's three, density down to zero at the death. Uh, see how it's not sharp? Very soft. Mm, feels good. Yes. And again, it's going to take longer to render. It's got to calculate everything that's going into it, all the light that's cutting through. So anyway, that's what we got. Now, I'm going to make another explode demon. I'm going to make the icon and shrink it down. I 
we'll move this one to the front. And we're going to create another one. And we're going to keep it to the back here so we can stay somewhat organized. And then to right click this, copy and paste. Let's get everything moving here again. All right, let's check out what we got, the before and after rendering. Oh, wrong viewport, I apologize. Environment, I almost forgot to add it in. Explode two in there. All right, let's render it out and see what we got. Looking good, but at the same time, looking kind of weak. So we'll jack it up again to 10. And we might as well just go ahead and change this now because I don't feel like waiting to keep rendering out every step. Uh, very bright. Okay, that looks good. Now we'll move ahead a couple of frames. Uh, one of three. Render that again. Might even be able to <clears throat> we'll move this down a little bit. The fire will stay with us a little bit longer. So that's looking good though. So that's pretty much uh, what we have. You can just see it filling out more. But it will go away from the outside of the explosion. That's what we want because that part will burn out first, leaving the smoke behind it. But that's that. So now if I go back to the rocket trail. We turn that on, and we let that cook just for a minute, frame 110. Oh man, eating up resources. Blah, blah, blah. Come on. Pick it up, pick it up, boom, pick it up, pick it up, boom. Pick it up, pick it up, boom, pick it up, pick it up, boom. Pick it up. Okay, so there that is. Um, we could even have a camera move for the explosion. I'm going to minimize that. Oh. Yeah, we'll just keep it like that. <clears throat> Say like on a for the camera. Say it comes through. What if it follows it from here? And after frame fifty, let's say seventy. What if it starts to pick up ahead of it, or at least catch up with it? No, I don't know. Whatever. And a couple undoes. E old control Z.